Can you bake tasty and healthy bread at home? Yes. Hi, I'm Dmitry, health and longevity enthusiast. Today I will show how to bake a sourdough bread. It is much better than the bread which you buy in supermarkets because you know exactly what goes into this bread and you can control the amount of uh, sodium and sugar. All you need to bake this bread is an oven, a Dutch oven, which is uh, basically a thick walled cooking pan. You need uh, organic uh, flour, you need uh, a sourdough bread starter. You can either get a recipe for a sourdough bread starter on internet, or you can uh, go to your local bakery and I'm sure they will be happy to give you a bit of this uh, starter and explain how to use it. So, uh, baking the bread is a three-step process. Let's uh, go through this process step by step. We mix uh, 200 grams of flour, 150 grams of uh, sourdough starter, and approximately 150 grams of water. We add 150 grams of sourdough starter. Now we add uh, 200 grams of uh, flour, and then we add water, but uh, we'll just add a little bit of water first. We mix it. See how it goes. So our mix looks uh, very nice. So the trick is uh, to avoid putting too much water. So this is the consistency of the uh, mix which we should aim to achieve. And uh, the next uh, step is uh, to cover our bowl with a clean film. Here's uh, the film in several places. And uh, leave the bowl in a warm place. <coughs> uh, it's, it's important. So, for example, in our case, because we have uh, a stone table here, so uh, it's good. Um, it's a good idea to use a um, piece of wood to put it on. And if we take off the film, we'll see that uh, the dough is uh, full of uh, small, uh, nice-looking bubbles, which means it's uh, in great shape. Towel dusted with uh, flour. A basket with uh, lots of air, uh, which, which allows for a lot of air. In our, in our case, we will be using 100 uh, grams of uh, spelt uh, flour, 250 grams of um, wheat flour. We also need water, uh, approximately 250 grams. We uh, also have uh, poppy seeds. We're going to add one um, tablespoon because uh, poppy seeds contain a lot of uh, calcium, magnesium, and potassium, which are uh, which are really healthy, micronutrients, uh, honey for sugar, and uh, five grams, five grams of uh, salt. So uh, we put uh, flour in our mix. And a really big uh, tablespoon of uh, honey. We will add water gradually. And uh, we start uh, mixing. It's important to add water gradually, so uh, we get a texture which looks uh, of, of dough, which looks like this. And then we mix it with our hands. The goal is uh, to get it to the point where it looks like a ball made out of uh, dough. Fingers get sticky, put them in water, and that uh, helps to handle the better. 
try to collect uh, all the dough from the walls of the bowl. Let's uh, wet our hands again because we will be making a bowl now. Dust it with uh, flour. And we have a really nice uh, round ball of uh, dough. In approximately six to seven hours, depending on the uh, temperature in the room, the ball should expand uh, approximately 2x. And when that happens, it means uh, it is ready for baking. So in approximately five hours, uh, we should open the towel and check how much the ball has expanded. Uh, we warm up the oven to uh, 250 degrees uh, centigrade. We also warm up our uh, Dutch uh, oven uh, for approximately 30 minutes. Be careful because it's uh, very hot. So we take our dough and uh, we put it over the baking paper. Okay. Put it nicely in the middle. And uh, now uh, put it into the batch oven. And uh, we'll put it back into the oven. Keep the temperature at 250 degrees and uh, uh, keep it there for 15 minutes. Then bring the temperature down to 210 degrees, uh, open the oven, oven, take off the cover and uh, let it uh, bake for another 15 minutes. And then uh, check the uh, temperature of the bread. If the temperature of the bread is uh, 98 degrees centigrade after 15 minutes, then we then it's that's great. We take it out. If not, we uh, let it stay there a little bit longer until it reaches this temperature. Another 15 minutes are up. The bread is looking very very good. But let's see if the temperature fits our expectations. So uh, put uh, thermometer in. See what it so shows. Uh, 61. It's, uh, 98 almost 99 degrees centigrade or uh, it's uh, 210 Fahrenheit which means the bread is uh, ready looks uh, fantastic so we put it on a cotton towel and uh, let it stay uh, covered we need to wrap it up in fact in a cotton towel and let it stay for 30 to 60 minutes uh, so it uh, basically gets all the flavors and then uh, we can uh, try Uh, if you like the video, please click thumbs up button. Please subscribe to my channel for other health tips and healthy recipes. Thanks very much and have a great day.